So happy to take a, a break from league action tomorrow for the first round of the FA Trophy, but a familiar team in Concord Rangers who we met earlier in the season. Yeah, it was a tough game. It was a competitive game. Uh, we edged it. We took the points. It was a very, very hot day, and we've we, we done very well without the ball in, in periods of the game, and we scored a crucial goal. So we know it's going to be a tough game, but like I always say, whoever turns up at the Gallagher and they play us, they look at the... Uh, the facilities, they look at the crowd, they look at the, the stadium and they raise their game. There's no doubt in my mind that every team that does that when they come in. So we have to be prepared. It's a cup competition that we like to take to the further echelons if we if possible. It's a great opportunity for us to to get back into winning ways at home. And, um, you know, the further we go in the competition, the better it is. We said that game came uh, in August, so... A few, uh, few weeks have passed since then, so you've obviously done some more research on to see if what, how they are now yeah, set up. Yeah, they, they, they were here the other night watching us, and we've watched them, we've got a report on them, so we know how they're going to set up, they're going to be slightly different. Uh, no, probably similar, but the personnel is going to be slightly different. Um, but we're prepared, we're, we're at home, um, and we want to continue to run, even though we didn't, in our own humble and honest opinions, didn't play as particularly as well as what we could have done against a, against a Chippenham side that who, by the way, in the last two or three games have, have played really, really well and lost against Heaven in the last second, um, losing 2-1. Um, but no, we're, we're, we're up and we're ready and we want to try and get back to winning ways at home. One of the things you mentioned earlier in the week, of course, was that uh, injury list. Um, I think Bill was mentioned it's now between six and eight people depending on the yeah. you know, severity yeah. uh, varies player to player obviously A how frustrating is that and, and B what, well it's it? very frustrating yeah. for us because we can never be able to play the same team back to back or we can never play our strongest team in our own heads our own minds you know obviously players don't go and get injured on purpose but some take longer than others depending on what, if it's a if it's a, 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 an impact or if it's a, an actual ligament or a joint. So we, we're at a stage where we need to get everybody fit as quickly as possible because this is probably the time now where teams start overtaking teams. And like I've always said, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. We're in that pack and we've got to stay in that pack, but we need all our players fit to stay there. And we will. And of those six, and eight, six to eight players... Have you, have you got some that could be in contention yeah. this weekend? Yeah, there's some. Yeah. Yeah, there's some. You know, obviously, you won't. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you. Of no, course, there to is. Say we, who, we have it? some that are, yeah, yeah, are going to yeah. be in contention. But listen, our supporters know who them players are. Our supporters know who's done well for us and who can do better. So they're not silly. Yeah. Obviously, you say it's a great competition, the FA Trophy, isn't it? And it'd be great to get as many as we can down here. For sure. And I, and I reminded the players of that last season. We got to the quarterfinal stage against Stockport. We did ever so well to get a draw up there and we didn't really do enough to win at home. Um, as an ex-football player, professional, that's won this competition, you know, I've been to Wembley, it's an amazing day out, anything's possible, you know, but we've got to be ready, we're at home, so we'll have the advantage and we've got to be prepared. The, the longer the competition continues, the, the higher the crowds will go, probably gets high when you get to the quarter-final stage, so we're just at that stage now, you know, but we want to push on, we want to do what we can. Again, you look at that fixture calendar, we've mentioned before, it's it's quite chocker in the coming yeah, weeks, but yeah. quite a few of those are here at least. Yeah, that's, that's a plus, you know, obviously we've had to fit in some fixtures as well because of the FA Cup run and bits and pieces which we didn't really want to do, but we've done it and we've had to do it, and I know that the, the, the league states that has to be played in a certain time frame, so we've done... The club and yourself have done everything they can to give us, you know, a little bit of flexibility to when we can play. But the advantage is that most of them are at home. Going to be a good run, Christmas time. Hopefully, we will keep that run going and pick up not one point but three points at home. Curveball question to end today. Be gone. Um, because we've um, been raising money for for prostate cancer here yeah. at the club, um, and one of those things, or Big George says, "Come on, let's do a calendar." Um, yeah. What do you think of it? Why, why, why would you recommend the good? People of Mason to come and get well, up there on their You've, got, you've got some young, sprightly athletes there <laughs> with, <laughs> you know, looking very tasteful. Um, so, obviously, it's for a good cause. It's for an amazing cause. Um, as a club, as a whole, we support causes like that. And we experienced a, a gentleman coming down who had cancer. And um, any form of cancer is not good. And it'd be good. Spend some money. Get the calendar. 
give us a present to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> give them a bit of joy. No, it's it's for a good cause. Can't ask for more of that. Cheers. Thanks so much for doing as always. Cheers. Cheers.